Panda Girl NFTs and a huge buyback burn. What's up guys, how's it going? Zil Taib here, aka John. Welcome to the Lux Fiat channel. To all those that are brand new, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, and comment down below. We love communicating with every one of you guys. And comment down the next project you guys want us to go ahead and do a review on, and I will be more than glad to go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about NFTs and a buyback burn that is coming very soon for Panda Girl. So go ahead and make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I will be talking about the overall sentiment of, about the market, NFTs with Panda Girl, and what is going on with some TA on Panda Girl. But before I do go ahead and get started, I do wanna go ahead and say, I am not a financial advisor. Anything I do say or talk about in this video is solely for entertainment and educational purposes only, All right guys? Always make sure to do your own research and only invest in what you believe in, right? So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, before we do go ahead and get started with some TA starting off with Panda Girl, I do want to go ahead and say that we are currently in our, ch uh, not in our channel, in our website right now. Go ahead and head over to luxfiat.lc. Go ahead and click over to more and click on the fear and greed index chart. So right now we're going to be looking at how the sentiment of the whole entire crypto market is looking at right now. So right now we are currently in the extreme fear territory, guys. Like I said, I did this. I put it in a site for you guys to go ahead and just quickly go and use a resourceful tool that could give you an overall indicator of how the market is. This is just an indicator. Do not rely on it, but it's just a sentiment of how the market is doing. All right, guys. So right now we are in extreme fear. Always make sure to buy during the fear and sell during the greed, not financial advice. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get, go straight to Panda Girl and look at what I found on TA and why I'm very excited for Panda Girl for the next upcoming weeks. So if you guys do remember, or if you guys are new to the channel, I was talking about this area of resistance that we were once in. And I did mention that we definitely wanted to go ahead and break above this area. And we actually did, guys. We've actually been struggling to break above this area for the last couple times. Multiple times, this was a strong area of resistance. And now we've actually broke through it. And now, right now, we're looking very good, guys. So if you guys are looking to go ahead and buy into Panda Girl, right now would be actually a really good buying opportunity before we do have a massive pump coming very soon, guys. So let's go ahead and switch over to the four hourly chart. We go ahead and check out the four hourly chart. It is looking extremely bullish as well. As you guys could tell, we've had multiple green sticks. It looks like we've just been having some massive buy-ins coming in because we are getting ready for those NFTs and that buyback burn coming very soon. Uh, so right now, we are pretty much in a buy-in territory, guys. This is the area you guys want to go ahead and buy before we have that massive pump to the upside. So right now, currently... It has gone as low as over here. This is a huge buying opportunity. You guys could capitalize off that massive pump to the upside. It could be an easily over a 10x of your investment, guys. So um, I don't want to say much, but just, just get ready for what is coming, guys. If we go ahead and switch over to the weekly, it is looking extremely bullish as well. I did say an area I definitely do want to go ahead and see a break is around the 0.17 area, which is we'll, we'll go ahead and put a little indicator here. For next time, we'll go ahead and put a, let's go ahead and put a triangle. I just want to interrupt really quick to tell you about the Unknown Species NFT, which is an NFT that we've been teasing for for a while. And at the end of the sale of the 600, we are going to be doing 10 $3,000 raffles. So be sure to check it out. Uh, here's the trailer to give you more information, but uh, go ahead and go to DAC dot llc slash nft and find out more information here's the trailer mr president this looks really bad sir the doctor's research was leaked and it has left unrest within the country this is not good the plan backfired as i predicted Mr. President, you need to speak on this or there will be riots. We cannot afford riots on top of this. 
The president wants all samples brought to the laboratory at once for immediate testing. This could be dangerous, people. Very dangerous. So this is going to be the next area that we definitely do want to see a break above. There you go. That little triangle right there that you see. I'm going to put that right there. I'll actually put it lower. Just put the whole entire area filled in. So there you go. You guys see this triangle. So we'll come back in the next couple days, couple weeks to go ahead and see how this is doing. But we definitely do want to see a break above the 17.17. That is currently an area of resistance. So I'm very excited, guys. I do think that it's going to be happening very soon. So get ready for the massive pump. Panda Girl actually did tweeted this a few hours ago. Finally, after several weeks of downtrend, Panda Girl is gradually returning to its high in anticipation of our NFT minting event on 429 and the big buyback burn that will follow. So we will be having, as you guys heard from the team itself, we will be having the NFTs that are going to be selling plus we will be having a big, massive buyback burn. So, you know, Panda Girl always comes through. I remember with the last couple of weeks when it first launched, um, I think it was within the first or second week, they ended up doing a $100,000 burn. So I could just imagine Panda Girl always does these massive, insane buyback burns. So do expect a pretty big buyback and that is definitely going to go ahead and hopefully delete a couple zeros. So I'm very excited for that, guys. Keep your eyes on that. I'll let you guys know when we are getting closer for that um, for that NFT launch. And this is a very funny meme that I actually saw that I want to share. This. this is someone from the Panda Girl community and put, a good book can change your life. And you have all these bums walking into this Panda Girl book, and now they're becoming executives coming out. So that is extremely funny, guys. Um, so... You know, let's go ahead and get started into the other news that we have going on. So right now, I will be talking about a topic right now, which is going to be Shiba added onto Robinhood. They added Solana, Polygon, and Compound. This is vast, massive, massive news, guys. And the reason why is because usually Robinhood or these big exchanges usually don't do these kind of big moves during a bear market. And I know we are currently in a bear market and it has not looked very good. I know a lot of our projects have tanked 80, 90, 90%. Extremely normal in this crypto market. And I know a lot of people are getting kind of uh, tired of this whole red, but if Robinhood listed Shiba and all these other altcoins, could it be a huge indicator that altcoin season might be coming around the corner. And Robinhood, um, it's a company that really does do a lot of manipulation and has a lot of big wells institutions and everything you know controlling the background so i really do think robin hood has some inside news onto what is going on so that could be the beginning of all coin season um so just keep your eyes on that guys i do think that's a good indicator for us to kind of take in and know that you know a big company like robin hood would not be listing these coins if there's not something massive coming to the news very soon so we go actually go ahead and switch over to uh bitcoin i do want to talk about bitcoin um around these areas of support we've actually broken down to it is not looking really good honestly right now we have been holding the area of support around thirty nine thousand. and we can't hold that guys do expect it to dump down to about thirty four thousand and then twenty thousand dollar bitcoin i don't think that's going to happen but i'm not sure guys We've been having a hard point of resistance breaking around the $47,000 area. And why is Bitcoin important, right? I always mention this. is because Bitcoin right now is currently the, the big well, like the mother of the whole entire crypto market. So depending on how, on how Bitcoin does, unfortunately, it does move projects like Panda Girl. And for altcoins like this, you could be expecting with, when, when, uh, when Bitcoin dumps, you could be having massive retracements on altcoins like 20 30 40 40 percent even 50 percent sometimes so we definitely do want to go ahead and see bitcoin go up but with that announcement that actually ramba hood did make it does kind of make me feel comfortable that there is an altcoin season coming very soon and even if bitcoin does dump 
I think we're still going to be doing very well. I don't think Bitcoin's going to dump any further than $40,000. If we do, like I said, do expect it to go lower. I'm not invested in Bitcoin, so it doesn't matter to me. But um, I definitely do, don't think that's going to happen. I do think we are looking extremely bullish at the time. I am not you know, confident in the whole crypto market as of yet. But with that Robinhood announcement um, listing those altcoins, it does actually make me feel more confident that we are actually getting closer to an altcoin season. So go ahead and make sure to load up your bags on Panda Girl, load up your bags on all your favorite altcoins before we have the biggest massive pump in the history, hopefully, right? And we could all be enjoying that, right, guys? So we're going to go ahead and end the video now. I will be catching guys very shortly, I believe possibly thursday we'll see how the market does and i'll catch you guys till later right you guys have a good one thank you